Upon returning to the Koju household, you simply can't wait to take a well-deserved bath. The warm water felt like a smooth embrace, washing away the dirt, grime, and dry blood from Mount Fujisawa, leaving you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Later that evening, you were piqued when you retrieved your official Demon Slayer uniform. The crisp black fabric of the uniform fit you perfectly, making you feel like a scene of a sense of pride and prosperous as finished fasting your belt and admired yourself in the mirror. Your demon yeah, your demon downed in a regular garden ge- jacket with the icon destroyer embellished on the back. A white belt across your waist and a Hanakana pants or skirt with it. You wore favorite fabric tabby shoes. Oh yeah, favorite color tabby shoes. That with a pair of white Zoe's, you couldn't help but feel a surge of determination to fulfill your duty as a protector of humanity. Eyeing your backside, you frowned as your eyebrows slightly... Was it... Just you? Or did your Hanaka pants slash skirt make your ass look big? You didn't even have time to dwindle on the matter because the door to your room suddenly opened. There she is, the love of my life, the beautiful and lovely Okiana on the Demon Slaying Course. Koji exclaimed happily, and you're startled by the volume of his voice. Goodness, Kojiro, you don't have to be so. Mm. He quickly silenced you with a kiss before wrapping his arms around you. Though, caught off guard, you intently returned the kiss with just as much fire and passion because after sending, spending seven days on Fujisawa, you desperately missed the contact. Eyes closed, your arms automatically wrapped around his neck and pulling him flushed against you. Breaking the kiss, the flame fillers stared at you lovingly, fiery hair fluffing, forked brows raised with a smile that rivals the sun stretching his lips he looked even more beautiful than in your dream the sense of his gaze upon your heart skipped a beat filling you with a sense of um, ador- adoration that you can quite put into words you're even more enchanting than a beautiful spring day my love he says his remark made you your face heat up as Kojo soon glances over your form. And might I add how lovely you look in uniform. He beams. You couldn't even help but feel a warm blush creeping on your cheeks as the smile faded slightly, suddenly feeling self-conscious. Kojo had long since gotten used to you, seeing you frown or having this... How does he put it? Equally expression, annoyed, frustration, or tired expression. He couldn't. He could always tell when something was bothering you, whatever it was—a stressful day or just a bad mood. But today, as he looked at your unsure expression, he couldn't help but feel a sense of concern creeping in. If only you smiled more. It, it wasn't a bad thing. It would be most certainly brighten, uh, lighten up your features surprisingly, and and don you with a whole different perspective. And besides. He loved it when you were happy. What's wrong, Yin? He questions, curious to know what could be troubling you. I don't know about... I don't know about being lovely, Ko. You replied. The flame pillar tilts his head in confusion like a cat. Whatever do you mean, my sweet flame? He asks. Of course you look lovely. He didn't see anything wrong with your appearance. You looked perfectly fine in his eyes as he watched you turn your head to glance over your shoulder and towards your reflection again. Um, is it just me, or does this uniform make me look fat? You asked, a hint of uncertainty in your voice. Kojiro's eyes won as he glanced into the mirror at his and your reflection, mainly yours. He couldn't believe you were feeling insecure about your appearance as to him. You looked absurdly stunning. The way the uniform hugged your curves only amplified your natural beauty. And he couldn't help but feel a surge of admiration for you. For a while, he said nothing, making you feel a 
a little uncomfortable as you slowly glance back at him, only to see him uh, uh, blushing. You yelped, realizing that he it was indeed quite literally staring at your ass as you lightly slap his chest, slapping him out of his gaze. Stop oodling, you pervert, you scold. Kojo chuckles in response before giving you a soft kiss on the cheek. You're beautiful. He whispers softly, a smile tugging at the corners of his lips as he watched your cheeks turn a deeper shade of pink. Don't say that. I I'm not beautiful. You stammered, unable to meet his gaze. You were shy, incredibly shy, and it never failed to make him smile. Yes, yes you are, Yin, he reassured you, his eyes filled with sincerity. You're very beautiful. And I love every single thing about you. And I will continue to love you even when you grow old and wrinkly. Your eyes whine at Ko. Ko? I would say it a thousand times more. I've even shouted towards the heavens if I have to. My, in my eyes, you're the most incredible, beautiful woman I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. You might not see it, but I do. And nothing will ever change that, he proclaims. Aw, Ko. You squealed, basically pouncing him great gently with kisses with him passionately. This guy certainly was going to be the death of you. <laughs> Pulling away, Kojo laughs before taking his hands and oh, before taking your hands in his. Anyways, I have a surprise for you, my love. He suddenly announces, making you perk at this. A surprise? Yes. Now close your eyes. He tells you. Eventually, you shrugged as he and did as told. Momentarily, you heard Kojo mutter something which was followed by rustling and footsteps that seemed to echo in the room. Okay, you can open them now. And with that, you opened your eyes, only to be shocked to see both Kojo and Senjiro. Surprise! They both exclaimed. You noticed Senjiro holding up what looked to be like a hoori in his hands. Uh, what's all this now? You asked in awe. Congratulations on becoming a demon slayer, Oni, on, Oni-chan, Senjiro says happily. Me and Oni-chan made you your very own Hori as a gift. Hope you like it, the young boy added, lifting up the Hori for you to see. It was white, like Kojiro's, but with beautiful, favorite colored gradient patterns on the hem. And indeed, a flame power. Oh, indeed, flame patterns. It was incredible. I forgot the word. What is it called? Integrated snowflakes sewn onto it. The craftsmanship was truly remarkable, with every detail carefully thought out and, ex and ex executed to create one of a kind piece that truly stood out. <laughs> well, Senjiro did the most of the work, but I did help with the snowflakes, Kojiro says as he shows you the palm of his hands. You can see small red dots on the, his fingertips, obviously, where he had pricked himself with a needle. But t together, we made it with lovin' just for you, Senjiro says, quickly, as he sh blushes shies. Oh, sh what the pretty up there? I can't speak. Blushes shyly. You cover your mouth with a hand as tears of happiness stream down your cheeks. You really didn't have to. They really didn't have to do this. You guys... You libated. I'm even a Hashira. You don't. Eh? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm even a Hashira. You don't have to go through the trouble of making me a Hori. Granted, you're only mi Mizunoto rank, the weakest tier within the Demon Slaying course hierarchy. In order to be a Hashira, you either have to accumulate a demon kill count at of at least 50 to 100 or slay a member of the 12th kizuki as a kone ranked demon slayer though you should have no trouble killing 50 to 100 demons due to your wintry gift however the odds of encountering or facing off against an upper or lower moon are pretty slim it doesn't matter, Kojo chimes in. You deserve one, my love, and you deserve to be treated with such respect as an honor as any demons there are Hashira, regardless of rank. 
You were so overwhelmed that no word could express the amount of love and joy you were feeling as you quickly embraced both of them. Well, mostly Senjiro since he was the closest and he hugged you back while Koju embraced the both of you. Thank you, thank you so much. I absolutely love it. You guys are simply the best. You say, giving Senjiro a kiss on his forehead and Kojiro a kiss on his lips. Truly, they made you feel like the happiest woman alive. And that's not all, my love, Koju added suddenly. Wait, there's more? What could possibly be more overwhelming than this? You wondered. What is it, Ko? You added. Please go out with me, he says. You blink, stunned by a bizarre statement. What on? What in the world? A brief shake of your head. Of You furrowed your brows in question. What? I realized after these last several months of being together, I never actually had a chance to take you on a proper date. So please, my love, would you go out with me?